Good morning. It's uh, a cool Saturday, July 27th, about 6.20 in the morning. Um, I believe it was about 46 degrees when I left the truck. I'm uh, making my way over to the east fork of Black's Fork Trailhead from the parking area. I've, uh, for some reason, I've uh, felt a desire to explore the Black's Fork River drainages this summer. <clears throat> I did uh, a couple in Middle Fork and uh, one in West Fork up to a Dead Horse Lake last weekend. So now I'm going to try going into uh, the East Fork of Black's Fork and uh, take the little East Fork branch of that and get a view up into uh, some uh, prime real estate in the UNS. So I'm gonna stop and f sign the trail register here and we'll check back in with you in a minute. Well, it looks like we've got quite a few people that came in the last couple of days. Um, looks like people are looping around to Red Knob and Red Castle. So, looks like one person went into Little East Fork where I'm going uh, yesterday. So we'll see uh, if we run into any people up there. But look, there's not too many people up in here. So, cool. This will be my first time on this trail. So excited to see some new uh, country and I know that uh, in the Little East Fork where I'm going to be cutting off, um, according to the map, there's a lot of uh, river crossings. So I hope they're navigable in a dry fashion. Been doing a lot of wading through creeks so far this year and hoping that maybe this might be a dry hike for a change. Here's our first trail junction. Ah, oh, this is the cutoff for the Bald Mountain Trail. I'll have to do that one of these days. It takes you up over Bald Mountain down into uh, Smith's Fork, up below uh, Red Castle. That's beautiful up in there. We'll have to do that from here one time. Well, we had a bit, a bit of rain overnight it was raining at home overnight too so and it looks like it's mostly cloudy up there right now i'm hoping it'll clear off and i think the weather forecast said 30 percent chance of, of thunderstorms in the morning hopefully uh that won't be the case and i'll get lucky so we've got uh I think it was like a mile and a half, I'll have to double check, to the uh, junction with the Little East Fork of Black's Fork Trail, where we'll cut off and head uh, southeast. We're heading pretty much due south right now. Well, looks like I've got a crossing here and I was hoping to make it a dry feet day. Trail's right over there. Let's see if we have any other options here.
my feet have been getting a little bit wet from wet grass and um, bottom of my pants are all soaked from the wet grass but that's different than having shoes full of water Well, I don't like crossing on logs, especially when they're damp like that, because they're slippery as slippery, and that's a hard fall if you come down off of those. I do think I have other crossings um, up the fork up here, so. Well, dang. I think I'll just go for it. much as I hate to. Not particularly deep, but definitely too wide to hop across. And it did split up there, so we've got another another half to go up. And unfortunately, the trail goes up the uh, south side of the river, so. In fact, there's my trail junction right on the other side. Well, let's get a look, read our sign here. Oh, that's my inner reach telling me I reached the end of this particular leg of the trip, so. That's where we need to go. So here we go. Well, another crossing. I don't particularly like the way that looks, but maybe I'll cross up there where those uh, trees are down. Looks like it's not flowing quite as fast. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll go right up there. I think that'll be better. Well, that one was fun. What I ended up doing, I came across underneath that tr down tree right there, and I was gonna come here, but this looked a little bit fast to me. So I went up, went across where those rocks are, that log that's out in the middle, crossed right through there. So it wasn't bad. And uh, trail's right here behind me. I actually got up above my knees there a couple deep holes there in that middle part. Now maybe it will be a while for the next one so give me a chance to dry out a little bit. Wilderness Boundary, 3.3 miles from the trailhead.
Oh yay, another crossing. Well, let's see what we got here. Guess this is as good as any spot. You can see the trail right over there, so. Actually, it's a little bit better up here. Yeah, this looks better. In fact, I can go up here, I think, and avoid the deep spot even. All right, here we go. I always have to fight the temptation to want to speed up. Forgetting how slick the rocks are. I think somebody sent me a message. We'll have to go check when we get across here. What I'm hoping is that the main the mountain bulk of the flow that's to the left of me over here spreads out here so there won't be any particularly deep spots make it a little easier to cross All right, I'm gonna put the camera away for a minute here. It's a little bit slicker. Well, that wasn't bad, but um, I definitely needed two hands. So I'm glad I stopped filming. All right. Trail's pretty muddy like this, a lot of places from the rain yesterday, fortunately. Like we're gonna switch back a little bit up up an incline all right we'll check in in a little bit figure out where the trail goes. I think it's up right through here, but well, we'll have to go see.
Well, I'd say by the looks of this, that's uh, where it goes. We've had horses up here, looks like fairly recently. Kind of a muddy mess. Ah, there's a Karen. Boy, that's a mess through there. There are a few spots like that, though. Looks like here's a couple of the parties that were signed in on the register. Got a couple tents up there, and someone's got a great big tarp going over there. Oh no, another crossing. Well, shoot, we got logs to cross there, but man, don't know if I trust that. Well, I don't trust myself. Actually, I just don't like that. Um, I'm gonna look for a place to wade across. It's kind of narrow here, so it's gonna be pretty deep. That's the only problem. At least it spreads out a little bit here. Well, I went up a little bit further. There's a split here. And it's a little bit of bigger spread, so I think this will be the better place to cross. Maybe right through there. Um, this looks like this is going to be a little bit sketchy, so I'm going to turn the video off. Well, that crossing was a little more, what shall I say, technical. <laughs> All right, I think this is the trail here. Or maybe over here, I don't know, let's go see. Hmm, don't know. I'm gonna have to check the uh, GPS. The trail's been uh, unusually muddy the last half mile or so. Pretty miserable muddy. So I've been bypassing quite a bit here. I just entered this, oh, entered this uh, meadow here to hook back up. Looks better here, but man, it was just muddy sticky mud, so I was going around most of it. I don't know which ones are which, but all of these peaks along this stretch here, like from right there, all those down, there's like four peaks, and they're all named like Northwest Black's Fork Peak, North Black's Fork Peak, South Black Forest Peak, I don't know, there's a bunch of them. I don't know which ones are which, but I remember reading that on the map when I was checking out the route. You know, the trees are starting to thin a little bit. I haven't checked the elevation for a bit. Right about back at that last uh, river crossing, well, I was at about 10-2, I believe, if I remember right. So we're, we're getting pretty close to uh, our destination for the day. A couple miles, two and a half miles, I think. And I'm just hoping the weather holds out, maybe even the sun comes out for when I'm at the end there, but we'll see. Well, I've stopped to take a break. I was uh, feeling pretty good till about half an hour ago. And then I started getting pretty tired. So I was hoping I could just, I think the trail comes back alongside the river and I was gonna stop there, get some water and, and have some lunch there. But uh, I got all pooped out so, 
I filtered some water, filled up, and so I'm just having a little lunch, having an odd lunch. I'm having some some cream cheese. <laughs> But I found the trick. Found these little guys. They're kind of heavy to take, but they're small. They just got applesauce in them. So they actually taste really good. They're really refreshing when you, um, you know, want something that's not dry. I just put some of this in here with this cream cheese, and it's actually pretty good. I don't know if it's like a an apple cream, apple cheesecake or something, I don't know. <laughs> I'm uh, sitting here with my uh, shoes off, trying to let my shoes and my socks dry just a little bit. And so I'm, uh, I'm on mosquito patrol. They're not, they're not very bad, but I have to keep an eye out or they will be biting. So I got about 2.1 2 miles to go, I think, uh, if I look. Uh, last um, still haven't told you where I'm going so um, we'll surprise you when I get there so I'm gonna finish eating and uh, we'll get back on the trail in a little bit well I just popped out of the trees and wow <laughs> this is a huge bowl at the head of this drainage no idea. Well, I'm a half a mile from the goal and I had to take shelter from rain. I'm above tree line, so there's not much to shelter in here. So I'm right um, under these little uh, firs here. I don't know what they're called, but there's not much shelter. So at least I'm staying out of the bulk of the rain and uh, hopefully it'll blow through here and won't last too long. I do have my poncho tarp if I need to, and I also have a, you know, emergency frog togs poncho that I'll probably throw on if, if uh, the rain doesn't let up. Well, here's the view from my shelter. I could see rain down the, down the canyon a ways, and I thought it was just going to blow across because that's the way the wind was blowing. But it's starting to rain here, so crud. But at least I'm. In here where it's I'm only feeling a few drops every once in a while so it's not bad so if it doesn't pour I should be able to stay dry so anyway we'll check in uh, a little bit see how things are going the rain cleared up and clouds are looking pretty black but I don't see rain except way down the bottom of the canyon so I'm hoping we're okay I'm feeling the elevation. All right, time to move on. We're just about at the destination for the day.
It's just as beautiful as I remember it. So you're looking at the Oweep Creek Basin. It's, it's part of the upper reaches of the Lake Fork um, River drainage, which is, let me see if I can, down in there. The Highline Trail comes right down through the middle of this. And uh, pretty sure that tall peak right there is Porcupine Peak. We can't see the pass from here, but uh, I'll check the time and stuff and see if maybe I can go up up here a little bit and maybe get a peek up, up that area. Well, I had to cut my uh, stay up on the, the pass short. Um, it started raining pretty good. I ended up actually putting my poncho on. So, anyway, just such beautiful views up here when you're able to get up high enough to see the area. Now I gotta be careful with the uh, wet rocks and the mud. Hopefully it'll clear up here in a minute. Man, I just noticed this is one steep slope right here. <laughs> That'd be a good ski hole, I would think. All I gotta do is get in here in the middle of winter. Yeah, this rocky trail is not made for speed records. And I'm trying to be careful not to aggravate my my knee. I got a long ways to go. And I'd hate to have a sore knee to go all that way. Well, I'm down off of the loose, rocky, steep part, so this is much better. You can see it's not quite so bad as it was up there, and there's stretches here that are uh, pretty much rock-free. Well, I spoke too soon. I forgot about this stretch. You know, 
know I don't mind it that much. It's just like I go so slow. This would be a really nice place to have a camp. I have to remember that. I'll be able to use that one day. I sure wish I was comfortable uh, walking across those. It sure make it a lot easier. I'm gonna look down the ways and see if there's a better spot. I haven't been videoing much on the on the way out um, I'm caught getting caught short on time so I've been really hoofing it as fast as I could not stopping for anything so that's why there hasn't been much but I've been across all three river crossings uh, uneventful with all three of them I took I just went brute force straight across which was what I should have done this morning I just feel a little uh, novice about river crossings, but I'm getting better. So I should be coming up on the uh, junction with the main uh, East Fork, Black Fork's, Black's Fork Trail just shortly, and I'll cross the little East Fork River one more time. And then it's 1.4 miles to the trailhead. I've done something to my left foot. Well, my my ankle in the front. It's very odd. It hurts. Never felt anything like that before, so I don't know what I did. But in the interest of getting out of here before dark, got to keep moving. We'll deal with that when we get home. All right, we'll check in with you guys later on. Almost there. Well, I signed back out. I thought you might appreciate my uh, comment. <laughs> okay, just a few more yards to the truck. And that's a good thing because uh, my feet and my legs are done. It's funny. I think my hike into Red Cass or uh, uh, Dead Horse Lake last weekend was further than this, but I am dying. We'll uh, we'll get the uh, final total on the trail miles when we get to the truck, and uh, and we're gonna head this head out of here. Well, I was surprised. I thought this was less fewer miles than my trip into Dead Horse Lake um, 
So I completely messed up my estimation on that. So it kind of makes sense why I'm exhausted, but uh, wow. Well, that was a long day. <laughs> um, that trail is probably the muddiest trail I've been on in the UNS. It's uh, pretty miserable. Um, until you get way up to the end of the drainage, it's muddy everywhere, and it's just terrible. Um, the elevation gain's not too bad until you get to the very, maybe the last couple of miles, and it climbs pretty dang steep. I think the, the elevation was 11,800 on the pass, so that last little bit jumps up quite a bit um, in a short period of time. But, uh, man, that was a long, it was the typical story where, you know, um, it seems twice as long coming out as it did going in. But for some reason today, to me, it was like three times as long. Um, and of course, there was more miles than I thought, so that added to that. So, <laughs> pretty crazy. So, well, I'm going to uh, go home and rest, find out what uh, I did with my uh, my foot. It's uh, the front of my leg, right in front of my uh, my ankle. Um, I've never had anything like that, so very strange. So we'll find out. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed going along with me. We'll see you later. Ciao.